Hey guys, today's video, I'm gonna show you a very accurate and useful miter sled. If you watched the mortise jig video, then you know one of the secrets to quality work is making sure you perform each step accurately and minimize the number of steps. This miter jig does those very things. Let's take a look at how it works. Typically, when you cut miters on a table saw, you use a miter gauge, setting the gauge for one side of the miter, then rotating the gauge for the other side. No matter how you do it, changing or moving your reference point is always gonna add some inaccuracies. And every time you need to cut an angle, you'll need to reset and test. With this miter jig, you're using one reference piece to cut both sides. Once you've made an accurate template, you can use it over and over with excellent results. So far, I've created nine templates, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, pentagon, which has five sides at 108 degrees, hexagon, which has six sides at 120 degrees, heptagon, which has seven sides at 128.571 degrees, octagon, which has eight sides at 135 degrees, Nanagon, which has nine sides at 140 degrees, and a decagon, which has 10 sides at 144 degrees. I added a one inch piece of Baltic birch to the top of the template for holding and to install a T-track. By using threaded inserts, I can quickly swap out longer tracks when needed, allowing for a secure and accurate stop block. Now let's see the miter sled in action. I'm using the heptagon template, which is a seven-sided shape with a 128.571 degree angle. First, I cut one end of all the pieces, then set the stops and cut the other end. Now it's time to put it together and the moment of truth. There you have it, right on the money. This is an excellent sled for cutting accurate miters and you can keep adding angles as you need them. Thanks for watching. Hit those like and subscribe buttons before you go and I'll see you next time.